emotions. What are your emotions like through a game like that, going sort of back and forth and it's wild? Yeah, I think just try to stay as poised as possible. Those games are so fun. You know, that's kind of the games you, you know, you dream about um, as a kid. Those ones where, you know, it's so back and forth and you have to fight and claw your way back. And, um, you know, it was good for, uh, good for us to have that game. So, um, you know, every, every win is a team win and, and we'll just keep growing and building off of, off of the mistakes and um, capitalizing on the things that we did well. Christian said it was good for you guys to have that game. Brock in particular hadn't been in kind of those types of situations. Kyle said he wanted to see it. How was he uh, in fourth quarter in training after the game? Mm -hmm. Things like that. How was he just kind of handling things when it went around a little bit? He was great. Uh, not only was he poised, but he he, uh, he took the throne too and, and made a couple calls in the huddle and just was, was very uh, definitive in the way he ran things and everything was really smooth and uh, there was a couple things here and there, but you know, not with him, but with you know our team. But once again, it was just a good, good time to have a game like that, um, and especially for him to, to be able to go out there and stay poised and do what he did, and for IU to carry us on that last drive. And uh, it was just fun to be a part of. Yeah, can, you, can you expand on that a little bit? Why why is it important to have a game like that? I'm assuming you're talking about it was a state of the team, playoff ready, playoff prepared. Why is that important? Because you never know when you're going to be in one of those games again. You know, obviously you want to blow every team out, but that's not realistic in this league. And uh, you need to be battle tested. You need to have your back against the wall um, so you know how to respond, so you can figure out and find ways and, and have experience under pressure. I think that's uh, the biggest thing going into the playoffs. And a lot of these guys have a lot of experience in those games. So it was uh, good that we got it. Christian, at any point during the game, did you know that the number two seed was very much in play? I think we all knew in the back of our head, uh, but it didn't matter unless we won this one. So we were just trying to focus on everything we could do to, to execute and come out with a win. You mentioned uh, how you kind of asked guy. Like, what, uh, I guess, what, what have you showed you and then you know, what your vantage point was on, on the front of the ball uh, that was uh, that you got? Beast mode. He went full beast mode on that last drive, and that, that's who he is. He's a beast. Um, you know, the things that he does are special, especially in crunch time for him to have a game like that and, you know, put our team on his back was, was awesome because uh, we needed him and he showed up. And did you, I mean, when that ball is fluttering in the air, kind of, I assume you're on the field, but what are your feelings going through your mind like, oh crap? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't really know what goes through my head during games. It, you know, a lot of it, you watch the tape and you can decipher why you make certain decisions, but not a lot going through my head. <laughs> <laughs> you guys had to come back, obviously, in this game. Was there anything that the Rivers defense did in particular that you guys had to overcome or just figure out? Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of times when you get in tight games, it's it's uh, just minimizing mistakes for us. Um, you know, we feel like we can play with anybody, any defense. It's just about minimizing mistakes and, um, you know, being extremely efficient. You know, obviously, uh, I don't like making blanket statements till I watch the tape. You know, and once we watch the film, that'll kind of tell us everything we need to know. But momentum-wise, I felt like we were moving the ball well. I think the O-line did an unbelievable job all day in the run game and the pass game. And um, guys showed up and made plays when they needed to and finished with a win. Christian, you, uh, you set up Jordan Mason's touchdown with a pretty nifty catch and run and you smashed into a guy pretty good. So what, what do you recall from that play? And just what did that describe for your mentality for it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, honestly, it, they brought an all-out blitz, and so I, you know, I had to look a little quicker. And, uh, Brock did a great job getting the ball off. Brunskill made a great block because uh, those things happen uh, a little slower sometimes when that happens. So he did a great job. And after that, I was just kind of, you know, see red and go get as many yards as you can. Christian, in addition to the pressure of being in a close game like that, what did you gain from an offense? As an offense? of being in a shootout where you had to match, you know, touchdown for touchdown. You had to put a lot of points on the board. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 great to have those games because uh, you have to answer scores with scores to win in this league um, in order to keep the momentum as well. And uh, we knew that if we just keep putting points on the board, eventually our defense is going to get a stop, whether it was one overtime or two. And I think, two, I don't know the rules anymore, but um, <laughs> and they did. You know, Bosa made a great rush at the end. And Gip came up with a pick, put us in field goal range, and Robbie made the game winner. So it was, you know, 
it was good that we had that as an offense to, so we could continue to answer scores of scores. Sounds good. Thanks.